Hi everyone. So recently you may have seen some photos floating around, though not this one. This one is being used by permission, um, that seem to show birds like pelicans or shoebills basically taking part of their spine and like ejecting it out of their mouth. Now, while these photos are very much real and kind of jarring to look at, uh, that explanation of what's going on is not true but it can still be a little hard to conceptualize what really is going on. So I wanted to do a little demo. And so to do that, I have uh, built using some materials around my house, this nice pelican head. Uh, and I've built it out of things like a condom stretched out over a hanger and some garbage I pulled out of my trash can, and then this hose from my wet back. And hopefully together, uh, these things look more or less like a nice little pelican head. Wow like that, and then here's the neck down here. So for this pelican, I have its beak, and uh, its beak is composed, of course, of the upper mandible and the bottom mandible. And pelicans, like some other seabirds, have a very specialized bottom mandible because instead of being entirely hard and rigid, uh, they have this layer of very stretchy skin uh, over that mandible. And the reason for that is that the way that these birds hunt is not by sort of surgically plucking fish out of the water, but instead it's more like how a humpback whale hunts, where they take this, this big giant mouthful that includes both the animals that it's hunting and a lot of water. In fact, the uh, American white pelican, which is what this is modeled after, can hold up to three gallons of water in its beak. And then the idea is when it gets back to the surface, or if it's already on the surface, it just sort of tips its head and the water drains out and then it swallows its prey whole. The reason that's so important to point out is because to understand what's going on, you have to appreciate how stretchy this tissue right here is. So first I wanna show you what some people are saying is happening, which is basically that these birds are opening their mouths really wide and then taking part of their spine and like sort of spitting it out basically it's like coming out from inside the mouth uh, but that is not what's going on birds uh, cannot avert any of their organs there are some vertebrates that can so frogs for example can avert meaning to turn inside out their stomach uh, because they can't throw up as a way to get rid of something that might be upsetting them these birds cannot do anything like that so instead what you're saying is when these birds yawn and i just mean yawn as like a big mouth stretch they're sort of, they snake their heads back like this, whoa, and then they go whoo, and open big and wide, and this tissue on the bottom mandible is getting stretched out over the neck. So in some ways, you are actually seeing the spine, but you're not seeing it protruding from inside the mouth, you're just seeing this tissue being stretched out over the top of it. So. That is what's really going on in those wild photos. I hope you have learned a little bit more about pelicans and have a deeper appreciation for the amazing, absolute bizarreness of our living dinosaurs.